Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I've got 22 bread and butter bolos coming your way. Items that I bought for a decent price and sold for a decent price. No, items that I bought low and sold for a decent price. $35 or less is what I'm going to share with you in this video. I call those my bread and butter bolos. Um, typically easier to find items. So I pick items up at estate sales, garage sales, thrift stores. Um, Facebook Marketplace. That's where I like to source. Um, we're going to get started. Got 22 of them here for you. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. My name is Courtney. If you're new to the channel, thanks for being here. In this video, I'm going to tell you where I got the item, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. So hopefully, when you're outsourcing, you can find these items. All right, let's start with the first item here. The first item I sold is this Fisher Price Little People Little Kingdom Castle King Princess Horse and Carriage. And I got this at a thrift store for $1. And I sold it for a best offer of $20. The buyer was all in for $30.65. So Fisher Price Little People, you guys, I always pick them up. I actually have a tote that is so full. Um, I've got all of these play sets. I picked them up like last summer or maybe the summer before and I have a problem with just like sitting things to the side and never getting to them so anytime I get Fisher Price little people I just throw them in that tote but um these never made it to the tote uh, I got these at a, a different occasion and I just listed them so I know they sell um I've sold them quite often actually um if you can find some of the like the Thanksgiving or the nativity some of the Christmas ones, they can be big money bolos. So definitely don't overlook them. The next item is this toothless toy figure. It lights up, it's wings open. Um, I got this at a garage sale. It looks like for $1. I sold it for $11.25. The buyer was all in for $19.31. Um, I really enjoy selling toys. That's not all I sell, but, um, we're going to go through some stuff here. Um, this is an Octonauts underwater diving helmet. This is a replacement part. It goes on a toy figure. It's just like a uh, diving helmet <laughs> for a toy. Uh, I sold this for $7. The buyer was all in for $12 and two cents. Um, got it at a garage sale, probably had like 25 cents in it, but I'm going to take you over and show you something real quick. This is my reseller testing Bolo products. And sometimes when I part things out, I will make videos over here. So if you want to know more about parting out Octonauts, um, you can come check out this video right here. It says, I parted it out and it's Octonauts. That little piece in my hand um, is a replacement part for a playset. I sold that for $30 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for almost $40. So in that video, I show you a bunch of Octonauts items that I parted out and how I listed everything. So definitely go and check that out. Again, that's on my reseller testing Bolo products. I'm also doing um, live working hangouts where I list things and help people learn how to list. Or if people just want to list at the same time and hang out in the chat, it's just a great way to kind of network. So definitely subscribe and um, links are down below in the description. Okay, so that's the Octonauts. Definitely a great item to pick up. These, I got these at a uh, thrift store for $1 and they sold for $22.50. The buyer was all in for $31.72. These are measuring tape suspenders, you guys. I saw these and I'm like, yes, I'll take those for a dollar. Those are so cool. Um, yeah, aren't they cool? I mean, they're pretty cool, right? Would you Would you sport these? I like them. All right. I had a feeling they would sell pretty quick and they did. So this is a lot of four bunk beds and one chair. These are from the Calico Critters. Um, this is another thing that I will buy the dollhouses and I will part them out because a lot of times they come incomplete. They're missing a door. They're missing a window. So what I do is I take the doors off. I take the railings off. I take the windows out and I part them out. Uh, this sold for $10 and the buyer was all in for $17.15 and I got those at a thrift store for about a quarter. I think this actually came with a dollhouse that I got that I ended up parting out. 
The next item that sold is this vintage 1984 Disney Mickey Mouse Roly Poly Chime Mirror Toy. Uh, this came from a thrift store for $2. I sold it for... It says I sold it for 17. I wonder if I had this on auction and somebody offered me 17 or if it's just I messed up. So it either sold for 15 or 17. Uh, the buyer was all in for 2712. The next item is this Paw Patrol bullet. Okay, so how do I know that this is a Paw Patrol bullet? Well, I would not normally know. Um, but I got the actual toy that it went with and the toy was broken. So I knew that this bullet went with that toy. Uh, so I sold this bullet and this bullet. Same thing. The toys just were not in good condition. They they don't come, uh, they don't seal right. So I just decided not to list them. And I'm like, you know what? I want to try to make some of my money back. So I'm going to list the bullets. And the same person bought both of these. They were in all in for $12.96 for two bullets. With tax and shipping, $17.82, you guys, for these two bullets. So it really pays to know replacement parts and toys. Again, I would have had no idea. I don't even know if I would remember if I saw these again, that they were Paw Patrol. But um, that's what they look like. The next item is this Jamestown pennant flag. I picked this up at a garage sale, sold it for $10, $19.10, the buyer was all in. Would I buy it again? Hmm. Pennant flags are tough. I don't like to ship them. So what I do is I take cardboard and I like I cut up a box and I take two pieces of cardboard and I flatten it in between and I ship it first class. Um, it just takes a little while. It's kind of inconvenient <laughs> to ship. So for $10, I'm kind of like, and eh. now if it's a higher dollar one, it's probably worth doing it. I don't know. You guys will have to decide, but that's how I ship them. I don't roll them because I'm afraid I'll mess them up. The next item is this Mary Inglebright Witch um, Bats dessert plate. It's an eight inch plate. I actually got two of these. I got them at the Goodwill. They were a dollar each. Mary Inglebright usually does pretty well for me. Um, I sold both of them. This one, I took a best offer of $17, and I think the other one sold for a full asking price of $18, um, and the buyer paid shipping on those. So the next item that sold are these vintage hair clips. Um, if you guys missed my video, I was at a garage sale, and I got a bunch of vintage hair things. I um, sold some hair clips for big money. Um, that video I believe is on this channel. If you want to check it out, you can see some of the other solds, but there's a certain Brett and it's a longer one and it looks a certain way. Go watch that video. I, I want to say I sold it for 70 or 80 bucks. Um, and there was like three or four of them. I can't remember all the details, but definitely that video is worth watching because most people don't know that vintage hair things are a thing and they definitely are a thing. Um, I got about 50 cents in this, uh, sold for 1606. The buyer was all in for 2426. The next item that I sold are these carefree panty shields. All right, you guys. So this is a very, very old, old listing. I got this at an estate sale. I do remember that. I probably paid like a quarter for it or something crazy. Vintage tampons and panty liners and pads. Some of them go for big money. I don't know if they use them for movie props. I'm not sure, but, um, I just grabbed these because I had recently learned about it at the time. So I'm like, these look vintage and it said free samples. So I just grabbed it. But anyway, I think this actually went internationally. Um, yeah, an international sale sold for $7.19 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $13.74. It went through the global shipping program. The next item is this Pack Mates Ladybug plush handbag. I got this out of a mystery box and it sold for $12.96 plus shipping. So it's like a little purse. Not something I would have sourced, but it um, was in the mystery box. So I went ahead and listed it. Creative Memories Custom Cutting System. So these are blades, you guys. Um, this is what it looks like. It's got like a little tiny blade. People use them in scrapbooking to like cut around circles and stuff like that. I don't know exactly. I don't scrapbook, but 
Um, it came with some other stuff and I got a really good deal on it. I probably have a dollar or less in this. I sold it for $21.60. The buyer was all in for $26.70. This did not appear to have ever been used. It was still in the original box. Um, so that one sold for, yeah, a little bit more, $21.60. This came out of a mystery box that I picked up from Donatella Bottolino on her YouTube channel. And I believe this was in one of my earlier boxes and I got two of them and I was like, it was just like a little baggie of jewelry that was thrown in. Um, and I was like, okay, it's a mood ring. It says Maine. Somebody will probably want it. So I just listed it and I had two of them and they both sold. So, um, mood rings, they do sell. I sold this for $7 and 20 cents and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is more of the Connects track. I think that was in the other video I just did before this. Um, I picked up a Screaming Serpent roller coaster at the Goodwill. It was um, a box full of Connects parts. I recognized the roller coaster. I have parted one of these out before. I forgot how time consuming it is to part it out. Will I make money? Yes, I'll probably make uh, probably at least $100, maybe more. So it's probably worth the time it took me to part it out, but it does take some time. Uh, this is the uh, purple track tubing, and I probably have a dollar or less in this. I sold it for $18. The buyer was all in for $31.55. The next is this 1995 Cat's Meow Cathedral Series. Um, there's three of them here. I sold this for a best offer of $26. The buyer was all in for $38.54. Um, so how you can recognize cat's meow is there's a cat on every single one. So if you look right here, you can see the cat. There's the cat right there. Um, and it will say cat's meow uh, right here in the corner somewhere. It'll say it on there somewhere. Now, these really range from bread and butter. Some of them, I think I sold uh, a Christmas scenery like uh it was like a store, department store or something. It had like snow. I think I sold that for, for 25. A lot of times I will lot them in sets of three to five. Sometimes I will do big lots. Um, I would not pay a lot for these unless you look it up and it shows good comps. Um, I probably got these. I got three big boxes full. Um, I can't remember what I paid for it. It's in another video. But I'm guessing I have a quarter each in these, if that. So um, I do I do pick them up if they're cheap. Um, I actually have a whole nother lot that I picked up at a garage sale and I just can't get motivated to list them. So they're in my money pile. All right, this is a uh, Nickelodeon Shimmer and Shine Magical Flying Zeracorn Unicorn. I got this at a thrift store for two bucks, sold it for best offer of 12 and the buyer was all in for 23.07. I do have a video showing how this item works and um, that is over on my reseller testing Bolo products. So I do a lot of testing of products over there and then I put them in my um, description of my eBay listing to show the buyer what they're getting. The next item is this vintage Halloween blown ink pen. You guys, when I got these, I was like, oh, this is going to be a Bolo. I, I was so excited. I got three of them. And it actually took forever to sell. I don't know why. I don't know if like my keywords were not good, but it was a bread and butter. I sold it for $16.19. The buyer was all in for $22.14. So the next item, I think this came out of, uh, was it Thrift 5 and 15 maybe? I think um, I put together a, a collab video with a bunch of other uh, YouTubers. And I think it was called hashtag thrift five and 15. And I got this at the Goodwill for a buck. Uh, it finally sold. It did take a little while, but it's, I don't even, it's just a generic brand. So, but it is those flip sequins. So I thought it was kind of, kind of cool. Let me see here. Yeah. See no brand. Uh, sold this for 2016. Buyer was all in for 39.56. The next item is this vintage signed Mexico sterling silver abalone butterfly pin. It is marked uh, right there. Sterling 925 made in Mexico. Super cool. Sold this for a best offer of 19. The buyer was all in for 25.78 and I got that at a garage sale for a buck. 
The next item is this Transformers, again, Rest Heroes. I pick these up whenever I find them. They're a great bread and butter item. I uh, got this at a thrift store for a quarter, and I sold it for $15.84, and the buyer paid shipping, so they were all in for $23.18. All right, you guys, if you're new to the channel, I also have another channel. It is called Sourcing with Bolo Buddies. Um, I think I mentioned a few things that I got in mystery boxes in this video. Um, so I do unbox those mystery boxes over on this channel. I get a lot of them from thrift stores, and they're just a lot of fun to kind of see what I get. I do have other videos over here as well. So definitely check out this channel if you have not already. I would greatly appreciate it. And is Worth Point worth it? That's over on this channel. If you guys are thinking about doing Worth Point in this video, I tell you why I think Worth Point is worth it. So you can check out that video. And again, my reseller testing Bolo products. Come check that out. And working hangouts, if you guys are ever need motivation to list, um, you can come hang out with me while I list. All right, you guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And um, Leave me an emoji of a hat down in the comments. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.